Hey church family, um, we're doing something a little different um, right now with everything going on with uh, the virus and us not being able to meet. I wanted to have an opportunity to do a little more teaching and do some things that I usually do that um, we can't get together and do. So we're going to be doing a series of short um, little Bible study videos that we're going to take some passages of scripture and break them down for you. They're going to be about three minutes, four minutes, something like that, and we're planning on having them come out daily. So um, it's something that you'll be able to follow along with us. You'll be able to find them on Facebook and um, YouTube. So uh, wherever you pick those things up, we'd love for, to do that with you. Now we're just going to jump right in here. And what we're doing is we're going to take some time and talk about Genesis and look at some of the patriarchs. We're going to look at Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph. And so I want to start at the beginning with Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. I want to read uh, three verses to you for this one. It says, The Lord had said to Abram, Leave your native country, your relatives and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. Now what's really fascinating here, and the part I want to talk about for a minute, is if you back up into Genesis chapter 11, Abraham's father, Terah, moved from Ur to the um, city of Haran. And after he dies... Abraham moves on to the land of Canaan. But the Bible tells us in Genesis 11 that Terah and the family were moving to Canaan and they got stopped. So an interesting question that comes up in my mind is, was Abraham um, having his family go with him or was Terah told to go, never follow through, and so then God gave the promise and sent Abraham on instead. That's a very interesting thing to think about. Acts chapter 7 actually talks about this, that there was a promise made to Abram before he left Ur. So now his father's dead, and he's told specifically to leave his family. Was he not told to leave his family before? See, we get very little information about this particular section of this, and it's fascinating to look at. But God has apparently repeated that promise to him again because he was given the promise when he was in Ur, and then he moves from Ur to the city of Haran, and from Haran he's supposed to go to the Promised Land. So he stops in Haran for an extended period of time was it partial obedience? Was Terah the one that was supposed to be leading them? And with his death, it falls to Abraham. Was the whole family told to go? When they were disobedient, Abraham alone was called out. We don't really know, but it's really fascinating. And he tells them to go to the land I will show you. So they knew generally that they were headed to the land of Canaan. And once that they're there, God's going to show them some more specifics. But packing up and leaving and going to a land that I will show you, that takes some faith. A Abraham got part of the way took pause, and then moved the rest of the way. That shows us something important, that God's promises never stop. We may delay them, but God doesn't delay them. In God's timing, all things work together for His good and for our good. So I hope you can join us again. We'll have another one of these videos posted um, hopefully tomorrow that will pick this up. You'll be able to find them on YouTube. You can go back through our videos on Facebook. And uh, we'll hope to see you soon as we continue working through Genesis chapter 12. Have a blessed day.